Okay, I want to talk about relationships and online dating for guys looking for somebody from the Philippines. From a guy perspective, this one, I'll do one from the female's perspective as well, because I've actually spent a lot of time listening to women in the Philippines. Um, from the guy's perspective, you're going to join sites like Cherry Blossoms, Subwanas, and I don't know what the other ones are called. Uh, but basically, you'll join up these sites, and they've got thousands of women, thousands. Your first instinct is going to be uh, pictures. You're like, oh, she looks nice, da-da-da. Next thing is, strongly advise, open up lines of communication like this. Talking, visual, camera. There's no way they can manipulate this too much. I say too much because there is still manipulation going on. But if you've got him chatting, the keyboard's gone. So when you've got somebody that normally types off screen, that that barrier is gone because they can't do it. Also, if you've got a relative, mother, whatever, saying, tell him you love him and all this in the background, that can't happen because you can hear it. You're dealing one-to-one. -one. Um, with that, ask them what they want. What do they want in life? Where do they want to go? What, what makes them happy? Um, a lot of people have a very single-minded view in the Philippines because they have a village mentality, a lot of people, because they have nothing outside of that. Um, I find it a little bit difficult and frustrating sometimes because I do have some friends that have some amazing lives and then I find a lot of people don't seem to know anything outside of their own little bubble um, which I can't understand I find it frustrating you know I want to know you know for myself I you know I like traveling because I want to know what the other the rest of the world's like but some people are content with just that narrow view some people may be content with that but I'll tell you now think about it before you do anything serious um, because it may be quaint and nice now but when you're living together 24 7 it could become very boring very quickly and it often does the guy is normally sat on the internet and the girlfriend wife is off in the town village with her friends um, during the day or whatever because there's no communication, there's very little going on between the two of them. So you need to have these discussions, what interests them, what do they want to do, uh, what do they want to achieve, what are they expecting? Because a lot of the expectations are a bit bizarre, but because Western guys have been put on this pedestal. Don't know what caused all this, but I mean, then again, there's a high problem with alcoholism in the Philippines, there's a high a uh, problem with maturity levels with the guys. Um, the guys seem to mature later on. Uh, there's a lot of women where the, the girl gets pregnant, the guy's gone like lightning, lack of responsibility, very common issues there. So they see a guy, a uh, Western guy as a knight in shining armor sometimes because they're more structured, they're looking for marriage, they're looking for long-term relationships, stuff they can't get locally. And if they've got a child, it's very unlikely that a local guy is going to take too much interest either. Um, although I think that's starting to change now. But before, it was sort of frowned upon. I, I don't understand that stuff. I mean, there's some weird stuff in the Philippines I don't get. Uh, but anyway, communication is a key thing. Also, set a timeline to actually go there. Uh, you know, once you've been talking, because this communication is not like five minutes. This is something you build up over time. Um, set a timeline of going to visit them. Don't commit to anything. Set a timeline to visit, <laughs> nothing else. Um, another important thing is ditch all the crap people as quick as possible. Do not listen to the sob stories. Do not listen to people that go, what's your age, What what's your shoe size, that sort of thing ditch them straight away. Those people are scamming. They, they're they filtering through people all day long. It's their job. They make more money through things like Western Union than they, they would working, uh, well, they probably make more in a day than they would in a month um, in the chats that they get involved in uh, than a job would be. So just ditch them. Don't even talk to them, ban them report them on the sites because it doesn't do Filipino women any good either because the problem they got is you've got genuine women looking for to meet the right guy and then you've got these people just messing around on there 
Um, yeah, so plan a visit. But like I said, do not commit to anything. Just say I'll come and visit you and, you know, take two week holiday, go and visit them, wander around, see see how things are, see how they are. Maybe rent a place for the, the two of you to actually get to know each other. Um, and also look at the family and discuss things about the family. Because the problem you get is a lot of the family issues come because no discussions take place about them. Uh, the debt of gratitude I covered in another video, um, but there's also there there's expectations there that nobody really talks about. But you need to be talking about it now because you lay everything out on the table today because you can walk away now. But as soon as you commit to something, you're stuck with the problems you've just created, or you're stuck with problems other people are creating for you because you didn't deal with it head on. Um, these little bits of advice are just a a few ideas um, that I know work. Um, if you want more information, uh, let me know because I'll write an ebook on this uh, if people want it. Uh, quite simply, because I've seen it from both sides, and a lot of people. I mean, I've got I've got. I mean, most of our friends are happily married um, purely because their relationships are they're a little bit different than most of the expat relationships for some reason. I think it's the age group and stuff, and I mean, I think Gra Graham proposed the other day, and he's he's been out in the Philippines at least a couple of years now, you know, finding the right person. So, you know, because I know there's a big drive, marry me, marry me. Unless you're a hundred percent sure, don't buy into it. But also, you need to get all these issues sorted out first. And I says I'll do an ebook if anybody wants me to do an ebook on it. Um, but I won't be doing that one for free. Probably do it for. Five, five dollars or something. All right, thanks.